Hello class, good evening. Good evening, Jeffrey. Good evening, Marbel. Good evening, Daniel and Emma. Welcome to our session. This is session number four. I would like you to please confirm if you can listen to me. You listen to me? Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hey, nice to see you. How was your uh, day? How was your Thursday? I think you're fine, teacher, but I, I am some sick of my, how do you say, garganta? Throat. Of my throat. Throat, like throat. <coughs> uh, that's a sore throat, yeah. Let me share it with you on the chat so you can have it. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you um, gone to the doctor or not? Jeffer, have you uh, gone to the doctor? Have you um, had any make medication or not? Yes, I went to the doctor, but um, on Sunday, and I only have to drink my um, medicine. Um, yes, my medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Right, yeah, you have to um, basically uh, take any recommendation they give you, drink or take your medicine as you said it, and that must help you, okay, to be better, okay? So you can like simply listen, you know, if you wanna speak, you are, you know, in, you can do it, but if you feel just, you know, if you feel okay just by listening to the class, you can, you know, just uh, be a listener, okay? Not a problem. But thank you so much for connecting. That's that's really good because that tells us that you really want to improve on your English speaking and skills and English in general. Okay, so welcome. Let's see. I have Maribel here, Andrea, Emma, Daniel, Wendy, and Jose Pena. Welcome, guys. I really hope you are ready to learn something new today. I really hope you are also ready to to ask questions if you have any and to practice English. Okay. Yesterday we uh, talked or we read a article about museums and we um, went over some vocabulary. My first question is, have you completed this reading? Like questions on the platform? How did you do? Did you get all correct? Marvel, how was your experience? No, you haven't completed the exercises on the platform. There are like, I don't remember how many questions, but there are some questions based on the reading. So my question is, have you finished this? Have you completed these exercises? Did you do great? Did you get 10 out of 10? Jose? Yes, I did it. Uh, awesome, I'm glad you hear that. And what about the other ones? Did the other ones already finished? with the exercise yes you did angie okay good i'm glad to i'm glad to hear that um okay uh, i'm glad if you haven't completed these exercises on the platform about the reading please i invite you to do it okay today we are going to start a new topic guys and this topic is about uh two tenses that we are going to study and before i start sharing with you I would like to know what do you know about this? Okay, what do you know about these uh, tenses? Okay, let's see. Um, we have past continuous versus simple past. Okay, so tell me, let's see. Uh, let me ask one. Melissa, can you give me an example or any idea about past continuous? What is it? Is when you, is when you use the simple past, but add the ing. Good, exactly. When we use the past with ing, okay, I like that. Any example that comes to your mind that you would like to share? I was eating pizza. I was eating pizza. Okay, I like it. And is there any other example you guys would like to share with me? The same, following the same structure um, we just heard has continuous. So 
So we have uh, was and then we have where, right? Can you think of any example we can use with where and you can also share it with me? Plus ing. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Just think about the past. Maybe if I ask you like, what were you doing um, today around 10 a.m.? What were you doing at 10 a.m. today in the morning? We were working. You were working, okay, I can see. Yes, um, and then what were you doing yesterday at 7 p.m.? What were you doing yesterday at 7 p.m.? I was buying in um, the supermarket. Oh, interesting. And what was your maybe father or mother doing? Or what do you think your mother or father was doing yesterday at 7 p.m.? She was preparing the dinner. Okay, she was preparing dinner. Okay, nice. You have a nice and very kind mother, Melissa. Okay, good. I can see. Nice. So that would be past continuous, right? And now let's talk about simple past. How do we distinguish? How do we differentiate this? What is simple past? Any example? I ate pizza. I ate pizza, exactly. Any other example that you would like to share with me, please, before we start this discussion? Simple I made all my homework at morning. I, okay, so that's basically a simple past, right? I did my homework or you said I made. So actions that already finished in the past, right? What about negatives? Can we create an example with negative form? Simple past. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Wendy. Yeah. I didn't eat pizza. You didn't eat pizza. I okay. I didn't eat. You didn't eat, right. <laughs> No, it, it, it exactly when we use didn't that makes it in the past therefore we don't need to say the verb in past because it didn't converse the verb into past um simple past okay now my next question guys how do we know or when do we use past continuous and simple past is there any specific scenario where either or is suggested what do you know about this? What's the different? When do I use it? And can, can I use both together? Can I uh, try to combine the two tenses or is not possible to combine them? Teacher, I remember that we use simple path when the action uh, is actually finished and we use Past continues when the action starts in past, but this actually uh, we are doing still. Okay, good explanation. Appreciate it. Yes, when the action is still in progress, then we use past continuous. That will be in the past. Now, my next question can we use both tenses in the same sentence or not? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Can you guys think of any example where we combine the two the two tenses? What comes to your mind, Angie? How can I? Maybe you're saying I don't know what this is, or maybe uh, I this is too boring because it's grammar. Uh, but um, let's. Name it. Let's give examples. Past continuous mixed with a uh, simple past. How can we do it? Um, can I give a? Uh, I, can I give an example. 
Please, please go ahead. Uh, it can be, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Jose, and then we listen to you, okay? First Jose, and then we listen to, I think it was Jeffrey or who okay. was it? Uh -huh. I was talking with a coworker when, my, when I received a call. Awesome, we have two. So I was talking on the phone or maybe uh, in person with a coworker when I received a phone call. Okay, what's your example? The next, the next one who's going to participate? Try. Okay. Uh, I was watching videos when I remembered uh, had the, had, uh, doing the, the homework. Okay. Do the Thank homework. Yeah, thank you, Gustavo. So you remembered, right? Now, what do I see in these two examples you just provided me? As you can see, one action, and this is key, one action interrupts the other one, right? So what is the action that interrupts? Simple pass or pass continuous? Which action interrupts the other action? Simple pass interrupt Sim the pass continues. Exactly, exactly. Good. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much for 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 saying it. Yes, simple pass interrupt the pass continues. That means that the pass continuous is longer. Is the long action. Okay. Um, meanwhile, the pass continuous is in progress. The simple pass, boom, interrupts. For example. I was teaching a lesson online when the electricity went off. Then I have no way to continue my class. So basically one interrupt the other. As you said it, I was listening to music when you called me, right? You interrupted my, my action, which is in progress in past. Thank you so much. I can see some of you have the idea. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, well, we're going to start discussing this topic. Uh, like now. First idea I want to share with you guys. I need a volunteer uh, or maybe not that volunteer. Let me choose a big team. Marvel, please, can you read it, what it says at uh, this formula, these three formulas? This one, number one, number two, number three. Number three, subjects plus verb in past must plus complement. Also, number two. Subjects plus they did not plus bear in present plus com. And the last did one. Plus subjects plus bear in present plus complement. Thank you so much. Now, we have, this is just a formula, right? Now the, the intention is that we can create sentences or, or questions using this formula. It's really important that we don't use the very in the past when we are making a negative because the did not is the auxiliary, which makes the very into past. So we don't say, I didn't saw a movie. That would be a mistake. I didn't say, no, you say, I didn't see, I didn't uh, say, because the verb must be in present, okay? You don't say, I didn't went, mm -mm, I didn't go, because we know that the didn't makes the verb into the past. That's something that I think you have already heard before, but then it's okay to remind you or it's okay to review this uh, type of things that sometimes we might make these mistakes, you know, maybe unconsciously, okay? So uh, having this in our screen, having the formulas, guys, I have some examples here. I want to ask Hosman. Hosman, can you read the first two examples on the screen? Can you see them? Example, I saw the movie yesterday. I didn't see a play yesterday. Thank you so much. Affirmative and negative, right? And Anchi, can you read the next two one? Okay, number three, right? Yes, the next two ones. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, did you have a dinner last night? She washed her car. He didn't wash his car. OK. 
Okay, okay, okay. So we have these examples. Now, uh, I have a quick question. I heard you say, wash it, right? Um, I need, and so you, you read this, these two ones, right? Now, um, we have, let, let me ask Estefania Trujillo, how do you read this verb? Washed. Thank you so much, good. Uh, Jenny Lisette, how do you read this verb? This one? Wash. Wash, thank you, Jenny. Quick question, Jenny. Is this a uh, regular or irregular verb, this one? Regular verb. Regular, okay. How do we make uh, pass and pass participle when a verb is regular? The same. Mm -hmm. What do we add? We use the same. It's the same, uh, yes. ED. Exactly, we add ED. Whenever a verb is regular, just by adding ED, it becomes our past or it becomes our past participle. Now, uh, we are gonna talk about that today and I want to go over some like really uh, easy to access and quick um, chart for you to know how to pronounce this. I consider it's extremely important uh, to differentiate how to pronounce ED in this um, regular verse, okay? So we do not say wash it, or we, don't, we do not say washed, we say washed. So how do I know it's T sound? That's gonna be for today's uh, session. If you know about this topic, please add more ideas you have heard. If you haven't heard anything about this, please pay attention and ask questions, okay? So uh, this is just an example. So before I continue, I want you to give me uh, one example of each uh, form, affirmative, uh, negative, and a question, okay? I'm gonna give you two minutes. Try to um, write about whatever you want to. Two minutes, guys, on the chat or open your mic, please. Can you repeat what is the thing that you said? Because I didn't hear you very well. No problem, no problem, Emma. I just, before I move on, I just want you to share with the class and myself three, let's say three statements. One negative, one affirmative, and one question using simple past, like the examples, but create your own example, your own sentence, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. I can see some already sending then. Good, Reina. I were in the park. I didn't do the homework. Did you know what happened yesterday in the park? I like it. I like it, Reina. Thank you so much. There's a little mistake here. We need to double check, okay? Um, where you're using the bird to be, okay? The bird to be is... Um, well, it's not simple past itself because the verb to be is a study like uh, separated, but then it's considered past, okay? Now, uh, I wear, we, um, we don't use wear with I. What do we use? Yes, correct. Thank you so much, Rain. I was in, you can say I was at the park because at is more for, for public or general places. So I was at the park. Thank you so much. More examples. Come on, guys. I want to see your examples. I want to read them, or maybe you want to open your mic and go ahead and share them with the class. Mm -hmm. Two minutes, I said. One more minute. Wait. I have my examples. Yes, please, Emma, go ahead. I ate to pusa today in the morning. Um, my brother didn't clean his room yesterday. And did you work yesterday morning? Like it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Emma. 
I have Evelyn's here. I didn't go to the beach in the weekend. I went to the church today. Did you cook dinner? Yes, all of them are, are correct, Evelyn. And what about, uh, I, I'm still missing like six, like maybe 10 more sentences here. Please go ahead and share with me. The boy played in the garden. Yes, Angie, that's, I worked for eight hours today. I didn't work very, okay, I like it because it's like the same, it's just that you change it, right, Stephanie? I ate Chinese food yesterday in 2020. We were in quarantine, yes. Yeah, this COVID-19 pandemic, right, Gustavo? Yes, Andrea, go ahead. Andrea? Um. Uh, I sang the song. I didn't know uh, how to drive. And did you visit that place? I didn't know how to play. Did you visit? It? Did you visit that place? Right? Did you visit that place? Good. Okay. And now, can you guys create one sentence? I mean, one. Um, using these three sentences so it makes sense into one text. For example, if you say, I didn't uh, eat yesterday because I, I, what? No, let me say, I didn't eat yesterday. I didn't eat dinner yesterday because I, I ate a lot in my lunch time. Okay, so I'm trying to combine it, the sentences so they can like make sense into one, right? But I'm at the same time, I'm using negative and also uh, past in the same. I am, I'm saying this because Andrea's example gave me that idea that we can uh, combine uh, maybe one idea using affirmative, negative, and even questions if it is possible into the same um, message, right? Let me see. Uh, I swam in the pool yesterday. I didn't swim in the pool yesterday. Did, did I swim or did you swim? Yes, I like it, Melissa. Okay, anybody who would like to open um, your mic and try to see if you can make up with one um, example. My mother brought me food. I ate it all. My brother didn't want to eat because he was angry with me. I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to create one, uh, let's say short idea using simple past, you know, um, and these structures, okay? One more minute, the last, anybody who would like to try, open your mic, please, and try to speak as well. I will appreciate it. Let's see, 17 people connected. Who wants to try? Or maybe you can read your example, the one you already sent on the, on the message, on the chat here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, I can see. Well, uh, I got another one here, Angie. I didn't go to the party because I went. Oh, wow, that's that must be really uh, you know sad, right? And that's what I want to see exactly. Where you combine the, the ideas and then you're telling me the structure. Thank you so much, Angie. That's the idea. Good. Anyway, I think I'm gonna give you one more minute. Maybe somebody else is writing. Hmm. Okay, I didn't see anything else, but it's okay. Let's see. Now I'm going to move on to the next activity and it's connected. Okay, now we're going to talk about what I just said. Regular, I'm sorry, regular verbs. And where we all have clear that regular verbs are those verbs which just by adding ed, they are past or past participle, okay? For example, if I say play, my uh, past is played, and then my past participle is played. Basically, just by adding ed, 
it's past or past participle. That's it. Now, before I start explaining some ideas, I want you to send me. We are uh, a 17 plus me one regular verse that hasn't been mentioned okay on the chat send me one one um verb regular verse let's think about those regular verse work okay good emma we have one clean we have two finish okay <laughs> three i got three what about like i need to see at least call play Raise, raise, okay, what else? Earn, okay, I can see, what else? Okay, now, clean again, okay, okay, good. Now, um, as you can see, well, we, well, the forget. Forget, no. Forget is irregular. It's not irregular, but. Yes, Angie. Um, finish and walk yes now uh, as you can see well all of these ones you have already shared with me they are considered regular because we only add ed and then this is past tense now <clears throat> how do we how do we um, pronounce the ed do you know anything about this guys anybody any idea when the last word is D or T. What happened then? Uh, the song is ED. ID. Mm -hmm. We add we add ED and we pronounce it ED. Okay. Yes. We have first idea. I like it when the last letter is T, or you say or what do you say or D, right? D. We pronounce it as it okay let me send it on to the chat i think i'm so you said t or d uh we pronounce as it mm -hmm. i sent it already so do you mean that when the last letter is t or d so le let me ask you a question let's see mm -hmm. let me see um Okay. okay, look at this one. I sent one example. How do you read this? Anybody, please? Can you see the chat and tell me how do you how do you write this? How do you pronounce it? I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Decide. 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 What is the last letter? E. E. So how do you pronounce this uh, verb in, in the past? Decided. Decided. We say decided, but then you just told me that if it ends in T or D, we pronounce as id. So decided. I remember that we pronounce like e when the last sound of the word is T or T, exactly. not the last power. Exactly, Jose. Exactly, exactly correct. If, listen to this, this is very important. If the last sound is T or D. Okay, in this case, we are going to add a little bit more to what uh, it was mentioned before. We are going to consider the last sound. It's not a spelling. Guys, this is important. It's not a spelling. It is sound. If the last sound is T or D, we add extra syllable, okay? We're gonna talk about that, right? So this is one, exactly. Uh, decide, we don't say decide D, we say decide. Base form, we say decide. And with D, therefore we add extra syllable decided. That was really good, Jose. And thank you so much for uh, you know this, uh, clarification now that's one idea we're missing two more sounds what are the missing sounds that we need to talk about today who knows d and p sound 
T and D sounds. Yes. How do we know when we pronounce T and how do we know when we pronounce D sound? Let me ask you a question. This sound uh -huh. is for vowels and I don't remember another rule. And this sound is for K and D, I think. Hmm. Interesting, Emma. I like it. Look at this verb. Can you see the verb I just sent on the chat, guy? Oh. What is the last sound here? Uh, uh, call. Uh, call. What is the past? What is the past or past participle? Cold. Cold. Okay, cold. Do we say cold? as in tango, or do we say cold as in delta? T or D? Delta, D, D, as, in, D as, in, as, in, okay, as in delta, okay? But then it ends with a consonant. It doesn't end with a vowel sound. Okay, this is the point. I'm going to go over some details, guys, and I want you to write it down. If you know about these, also, and if you don't know, please write it down. I'm going to give you some time for you to practice with me, okay? Take a look at this one. First idea, guys. One second, boom, here we go. Okay, can you see what you just said to me? TD, we add id. For example, want base form, wanted and ended and then we have this list of verbs this list of sounds which are considered unvoiced when you listen to the word unvoiced is because your vocal cords you know it doesn't vibrate okay it remains like at ease you know only like uh there's nothing there's nothing involved your vocal cords are not involved in, when pronouncing Okay, voiced is the other way around. When it's voiced, it's because the vocal cords vibrate a little bit. In this case, um, we're not gonna go deeper into voice and um, and um, voice and blah blah blah. We're just going to try to memorize maybe uh, these sounds P with a P, F, F and th this sound you're look this symbol you're looking at here, which is uh, kind of like weird weird uh, symbol. It, this is for S. H, okay? And this other symbol right here, this is just, you know, phonetics, but then uh, this is for C, H, okay? So whenever you have one verb that ends with any of these sounds, uh, I'm gonna say the letters, P, F, S, H, and, uh, H, and K, or, or, or K, you wanna say T. For example, you say hope, with ends with a p sound, so hope. <laughs> laugh and with a sound, laughed. Fox ends with a sound, fox. <laughs> okay, it's not, once again, it's not a spelling. Somebody mentioned this and I'm glad you brought this up because as you can see, this is an E, this is an H, and GH, this is an X, but then it's not the spelling, it's the sound, right? The sound, what really matters here. So hoped, laughed, faxed, t -t washed, washed, liked. So basically guys, this is just an example, but of course you can go over and try to do your own practice and see that there are many more verbs under this category, okay? So um, before we move on, I want you to think about other possible examples and then uh, see in which category they fall. But before we do that, I want to uh, share with you the next category, okay? Let me erase this and then I'm gonna give you some time for you to write it down. Look at this one. Well, now we are missing the voiced. You see, voiced sound, now it vibrates. It says right here, all the other sounds, are voiced. So if it's not on the list before, all the other sounds, which means including vowel sounds, are voiced, which means we pronounce as D sound played. Look at this one, the second example here. This is a low, the sound here is a low, is sound, is vowel sound, a load. 
play A, A, last sound is E, so it's vowel, we say D. What about this one, begged, G, like, like G sound, G, that would be begged. D. If you pay attention to this pronunciation, there's vibration because it's uh, voiced, begged. It has to vibrate. Your vocal cords and throat has to make this a little vibration on it. So that's basically it. Maybe uh, the key will be, let me go back, uh, to write the first chart, this one. Or maybe you want to screenshot this one. This is one way for you to practice, you know, the sounds in how to pronounce. So from now on, if you didn't know, I don't want you to say, Hope it, laugh it, fax it, wash it. Mm -mm, there's a way how to pronounce it, okay? So I'm gonna give you uh, maybe three minutes for you to write down your ideas and your homework will be to start classifying your, your uh, most, let's say most used uh, list of verbs under these categories. Questions? Um, I have, I have, Jeffer, I have one list of verbs. Actually, I said this in the very first class that I can share with you. Maybe it doesn't have all the verbs, but at least the most common ones. I can share it with you guys if you send it to me. If you send me a message, I'm sorry, I'm going to send a PDF with this list of verbs, which has three categories. And if you ask me, hey, bud, um, how do I distinguish? How do I know when to say TD or ID? Guys, based on my experience, and maybe every, everybody has their own way of learning stuff, but then I haven't seen anything like uh, anything else, then it's not memorizing it. So I would say memorizing it, or learn this by heart, as we say it, and then, but create examples, practice, say it, share with somebody what you're doing so you can remember this verb and uh, make your own list of verbs. Because it's, it's a life, I say, okay, go ahead and memorize all of these 200 verse. But then in real life, there are some that we don't use them that much. So I start with the most common one. Start with this, okay? Okay, so two minutes. Any question as of now? Any, um, any doubt that you want to ask, guys? Or any example you want to provide for this? Yes, I will share the verb list uh, once we finish class. I will look for it and then I will be sending this list on the group, I think. So in case it is only two pages, but then in these two pages, you'll see that there are about almost 200 verbs, 200 verbs. And then I will share it with you guys. But then the list itself doesn't mean anything. You are the one who's going to put the best ingredient, which is your attitude. Uh, in regards or uh, memorizing this. So I'm gonna share it, but then if you can, you can print it, print it and have it, you know, physically. It's not the same if you say, no, I have it on my phone. I have an iPhone, you know, the, the latest one. But then if you, don't, if you don't have it physically, you, I mean, it can be more difficult. Maybe when, when you have it physically, you can start scratching or drawing or doodling on this. I mean, you, you can do your own stuff. So do that, please, print it. Uh, now, I think this is about the pronunciation. I wanted to go over this because I really want you to um, learn this in case you didn't know, because I always hear many people committing mistakes like a uh, player or a lover or beg it like you're the one you're seeing here and this is not okay, especially uh, when you want to communicate ideas in the past. Okay, so um, what about this one? Going back to the topic, going back to first idea, when uh, versus while. If we want to use past continuous and simple past, how can we use this? Can you guys give me some examples? Maybe open your mic. Uh, we use when and using while, please. How can we use when, how can we use while in a sentence with simple past and past continuous? 
did you or have you watched the videos, guys, on the platform? Jenny? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you yes. share with Okay, when do we use when? When do we use while? You, you can use when with is in the past and why when is a past continue. Good. I like I like it. That is correct. So we use uh, while with past continuous and when with simple past. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I like it. Uh, can you give me an example, guys? Anybody? Look at this one. Any example with when or while? Look at this example. I was reading a book when you came. So I was reading a book when you came. When you came. When, as Jenny said, is uh, very common to be used with simple past with a short action. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, while? Give me some examples. I'm going to give you three minutes for you to create some examples. Three minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I have the first message. While I was cooking the dinner, my husband came to the house. Nice, Stephanie. That's really good, you know. So that means that the that the cleaning was the short the shortest activity, right? And I like that. I like that example, not only because it's correct, but also because of what you're saying. I think that's ideal when you live right with someone or you have your own family. Good, uh, thank you so much. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start picking some of you randomly to see if you are connected. Huh. Let's see. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. I am learning the language English while my daughter is doing the homework. Okay, I am learning English while my daughter is I am doing... learning the language English while my daughter is doing your homework. I like that example for two things. One, because it is in present and that's mm -hmm. that's present progressive, okay, we can say it. Two, because you are using while to express two simultaneous action. And that is correct. You, we can also use while with two simultaneous, with, with two progressive. And that's exactly what you have done, which is okay. Now, why don't you think about one in the past? And then you share it with us, please. One in the past tense, okay? Okay. All right, good. Let's see, Jenny. I was speaking with you when my mother came. I like it. Yes. I was listening to, to the class while the teacher was speaking. Okay. Two, two actions in, like in, in progressive. I was saying when my dad called me. Yes. All right. Very good, Emma and Jeffrey, for your examples. What about the other ones? Maybe some of you have haven't, you know, shared. Uh, this is I don't know if that is because you are not connected or in class, or maybe you are not, you haven't understood. So it's for me and for the program, it's really important that you guys ask, okay? In case you don't participate, it might be, I don't know, misunderstood, or maybe you're not uh, participating because you haven't understood the topic. So it's, it's, it's crucial that you participate, guys. Let's see, I was studying, I think there's one more. I was taking a shower. <laughs> that, that one is, it's good, that one, Stephanie. Imagine, 
but that's that's good like taking a shower how about if you're naked <laughs> or i was uh, i was at the bathroom when you know an earthquake started and then you basically stood up and boom did you have an experience right imagine, <laughs> just imagine that <laughs> no what is really really um a hilarious is like maybe you are sleeping right and but then it's very hot you like as you were born right naked and then all of a sudden this uh, earthquake moves everything and you start you i mean you what get up and get start running and your neighbors who's all around wow that must be really i don't know funny but at the same time you know when one of these things happen i think we everybody feels worried because nobody wants to die right but then yes that's funny i was watching tv when my mom visited me yes melissa we were playing football when the lights turned off yes good angie okay well thank you so much we need to move on guys we still have some time but there are more things to say look at this example we just need to read them okay so let me ask let's see wendy do me a favor wendy read uh uh, the examples here, please. Um, I was mm -hmm. the 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 press the past continuous, please. Past continuous versus versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Use the simple past for a completed action. Okay, thank you so much. Let's choose another person. Let's see. I don't know if Marvel is connected. Marvel, can you help me please read the past continuous, the three examples here? Okay, Cristina Mejia, can you read these three examples? I was where I was. Cristina? Reina Garcia, can you, Christina? Yes? Yes. Okay, I'm go sorry. ahead, please. Go ahead, read these examples, please. Three examples. Uh, three examples. Three examples. I was cooking uh, egg, egg fries. Um, while uh, you was eating meat while you okay while you were eating meat you say i was cooking like french fries uh, french uh, like, well, free. oh <laughs> egg. Egg. Ah, <laughs> fried eggs fried eggs <laughs> fried <laughs> eggs uh-huh i can see okay thank you so much and reina can you help me reading these <laughs> examples please Yes, but I guess that the, all the line are yeah. uh, one yeah. example. Yes, yes, please do it. it. Doesn't matter. No, no, go ahead. Complete the ideas. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Complete it. Okay, I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I That's... was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. Mm -hmm. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Thank you so much. Good reading, good pronunciation, Reina. Has this ever happened to you that you're watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end? Do you agree with this sentence? I disagree. No, it, could, it couldn't be a good movie. Right, exactly, Jose, exactly. That's my point. Or maybe if you are really tired, maybe. Maybe, you know, but if it's a good movie, you want to be active, right? And to see what was what happened at the end, right? Okay, so these are examples, guys. Thank you so much for reading, Dana. Thank you so much for your participation, Jose. We are going to continue with our class. <laughs> the Titanic, yeah. Uh, you know, there are my, especially there, there are some scenes, right? <laughs> On the card. Is, is that a card? I don't remember if it is a card. 
Okay, let's continue. Let's see. Let me continue. Well, we have the structure. We know this already. We have talked about these. And then when you Star Wars, yeah. Star, there are many good comments about that movie, right? And we continue. Well, this is the formula. We know about these guys. And then uh, some examples with past continuing. I was sleeping with the dog barked. She was working when he had an accident and you were painting the house when you ran out of paint, I think it says. Okay, uh, now, yeah, ran, ran out of paint. Take a look at this. And this is grammar, but if you, if you don't have this, I want you to write it down, guys. We, I'm gonna give you three minutes because this is important. Maybe you want to write it down. This is a note on your notebook, okay? I'm gonna give you three minutes. Write it down, please. When you finish, I want you to try to understand what you have written and then share with me one example you can create with while and when, and we finish this topic. Of course, I want to make sure it's clear. While, long action, and when, short action. While, past continuous, when, simple past. Create one example, guys, and then share it with me, please. Please, two more minutes. Okay, so let's start sharing the examples. One example, please. Maybe if you don't want to write it down, open your mic and try to create one, please. Okay, I think I have one on the chat. I was sleeping when I had a... <laughs> Okay, I like that example. <laughs> Sorry, it happens, it happens. Yeah, it happens. Day nightmare. Okay. Um, good. Jose, I will appreciate if you can create one with while as well. Maybe the same, but let's just change the while and, you know, into the, I mean, just change the when into the while.
maybe I, if I'm, I'm very positive, I'm gonna have one. While I was eating pupusa, my brother bought me a soda. Wow, wow that was a nice gesture. Gustavo says, while I was, while I was connecting to the class, the internet went down. Exactly. So uh, the while plus the long action, Gustavo. So while I was connecting, exactly, with ING at the end, I was in class when the pet barked, <laughs> okay? When the does two pass action, but it makes sense. While I was having class, my dog played with a ball. Mm -hmm. okay yeah okay good good ideas guys thank you so much for for participating please continue to send your examples i'm going to assign while i was walking i saw my friend i called my brother when my mother said to me okay let's see i want to read your examples and then janji while i was eating the breakfast the car crashed <laughs> Crash happened. Wow. Um, today I was driving back home and I saw a car accident and you just reminded me about that. I, while I was doing a prayer from university, I can see. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens, especially if it is the, the thesis, right? Graduate, <laughs> graduation. Okay, um, good. Now, tomorrow, uh, let me uh, talk about tomorrow. I am going to start tomorrow is Friday, right? So, I'm, so basically yes. tomorrow, <laughs> today is Friday for us because tomorrow yes. is, is Friday. We have no classes, you see, and you don't want to participate. Come on, guys, okay? Send me all your examples. I appreciate the ones who are really active participating, okay? But those who don't send anything, please make sure you participate, okay? Now, on, uh, let's see, on Monday, guys, I'm going to start with this activity. I want you to look for a story, okay? Where past endings with ED are used, okay? Practice this story and you are going to start sharing the story, uh, sharing on the screen, like you're going to screen uh, shared and you're gonna read the story for us. Make sure you apply ED. If you don't find any story on the net, you are going to make it up. You're going to write it yourself. It can be a real or imaginary story, okay? But the purpose is ED sounds, okay? We are going to start with this activity on Monday. I'm going to choose some of you. Okay, for example, okay, Hosma, go ahead and tell the story you found or you created, okay? And then you display it on the, on the, on the, on the screen and then you read it. And we are going to be listening to ED pronunciation, okay? And if it is possible, have the least verse you have used on this story, okay, with ED. Is that clear for Monday? Yes. yes. Okay. So, guys, for me, it's a pleasure. I know it's 2 to 9, but I have another class in two minutes, and I want to let you guys go, chill, try to rest. It's Friday for us, and see you on Monday, okay? Teacher, yes. can you share the presentation? Yeah, you asked me for this. Yeah, I will do it. I will convert okay. this into PDF, and then I will send it to your uh, groups, to the group, okay? And also, I will share the list of verb, okay? PPT and bird list. Okay, let me write it down on my agenda so I don't, I don't forget it. Send it tonight or tomorrow or on the weekend. All right, guys. Have a okay. nice, have a nice Thanks. night and take care. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.